Hi everyone, I'm sorry I've been off for so long, but I am back now. So let's see what the current energy is. Um, it's been a little while, so I'm not sure what's going on with you guys, but we'll see what the cards have to say. So this this is um, could be a, a current partner, uh, someone new coming in, X, just whatever the whatever story the cards want to tell here. We'll just see what, what the current energy is here. So we have third party distraction, karmic partner, and keep in mind a third party isn't always. A person sometimes the third party is just something that's distracting your person from you so this could be work this could be financial issues it could be a number of things we have vulnerability receptivity mutual feelings emotional depth cold guarded and distrusting it's like there's some back and forth energy going on here waiting hoping praying Open, honest communication, message, love offer, commitment. Okay, so it seems like there's been a positive change of events or there's about to be for some of you. Um, seems like you're going to get some kind of honest communication that you've been waiting for and this could lead to a new start for you and your person finally. This could also be someone new coming in. You might be wrapping up a karmic cycle with someone else. And that cycle is about to end, so this new person can come in. I think that there's two different stories here. But for the other group, I think it's the same person that you've been dealing with. And I think that something's about to wrap up here. And they're about to come in and present this love offer to you and offer you this new start. So, like I said, I feel like... Let me, let me straighten this out for you guys. Sorry. I feel like there's a couple different stories here. But one of them is I, I do, and I don't usually encourage people to wait. You know, if someone's taking their time, then I would say, you know, you can hold space for them, but don't wait for them. Don't put your life on hold for them. There is an energetic difference between holding space for someone and living your life and, you know, opening yourself up to love in, you know, whatever form it might come in. You know, just accepting that it might not be the person you thought it was going to be. There's a difference between that and actually waiting for someone where someone's actually keeping you in stagnant energy. So I just want to say for those of you, because some of you are in stagnant energy over this person. Some of you do have your lives on hold because of this person. And you want to get out of that energy. You want to clear this energy up. And I think that's when love is most likely to manifest for you, whether it's this person or, or someone new. But I do see love in, love here for you. Um, I feel like for some of you, there's some kind of karmic situation, some kind of third per third party energy. This could be in um, another a woman or a man that your person was dealing with, someone that they were kind of attached to. It might have been familiar, codependent, toxic. Um, if you see the card here, it almost looks like a. It's almost like a. It's like they're not really a happy couple. It's like you know this energy is very controlling both of them, and it's like. She's kind of controlling him. He's, you know, he's just kind of there. He's kind of looking elsewhere. He's not even focused on her, but she's very possessive of him. And this could be male or female. I'm sorry if I repeat myself. I just had to pause the video, and I do not remember where I left off. So back to square one. So as I was saying... I feel like there was some kind of third party situation here. See, this is kind of a controlling energy. I feel, and like I said, this might not be a person. This might just be a job or just stress or even commitment issues. Just some kind of third, just some kind of outside energy that came in and, you know, distracted this person from you. I feel like with the vulnerability and receptivity card, mutual feelings, emotional depth, I do feel like the feelings were real. I do feel like the feelings were mutual. But I feel like this person was in a, a codependent, toxic relationship with someone else. Um, they had a lot on their plate. They were stressed out with work. They just had a lot going on in their life at the time. So they weren't able to give you the kind of love and commitment that you were seeking from them. I feel like I just get the sense that like you didn't know that the feelings were mutual. 
you felt like they just didn't care about you. You felt like they were just completely cold and guarded and distrusting. It's like you felt like you were so vulnerable and so emotional with them, you know, so open to them. Like you just, like this was like your end all be all. Like you felt like this was just your true love and you feel like you just hit a wall with them. Like they were just, they were cold. They were detached. They were, you know, guarded. Um, I feel like for some of you, I think that your person might have actually sabotaged this. I think that for some of you, it's almost like you had the fairy tale with your person and it was almost too good to be true, or at least that's how they saw it. They, it's like, how is it so easy after all the toxic relationships I've been in? How could it be this simple? And so, you know, they, they got in their head and they, they sabotaged this for some of you. But for others, it just, it just seems like you hit a wall with this person. It's like you were waiting and hoping and praying for so long for, for true love um, and for this person to come back around or to find someone new. I think you were just at that point where you were just completely tired of being alone. You were tired of the same old, same old scenario with this person or with other exes from your past. And I feel like your wish is being granted here in the near future. I feel like... And this could be, like I said, I think that your spirit guides are bringing you love because I think that you've been manifesting love. You've been asking for love and your spirit guides know that it's time for you to have that kind of connection that you've been seeking. Like you've, you've been vulnerable, you've been romantic, you've been emotional, you've been strong. Um, even when your heart was broken, you still kept believing in love. You still kept being vulnerable. You still kept opening yourself up. And the universe wants to reward that that innocence and that faith and that um, that spirit that you have, you know, that that energy. You're, the universe is responding to that now, finally, after after waiting for so long for that. So I do feel a message coming in here, um, open, honest communication. And and like I said, there's two different stories here. So for some of you, I feel like this is this this person that you know you kind of hit a wall with for a while and you've been wanting them to come back and it seems like they're finally like something shifts and they do come back for others i think this might be a secret admirer that's been watching you on like facebook instagram so like some kind of social media um i just feel like the universe wants you to have that love i feel like it's time for you to have that love so we have open honest communication message but for the majority of it actually i do think it's probably this person from the past um, and it looks like they want to, you know, give you this love offer, commitment. They want a new start with you. It looks like some of them want to travel with you. Maybe they didn't have the money to travel in the past or you didn't have the money or it's just they had too much on their plate. And now I feel like some of them are actually planning a vacation with you or they're planning some kind of surprise for you. You know, you see this this person has um, a rose behind their back and they're giving it to, the, to them. It kind of feels like there's something in the works here like there's some kind of like they're giving you a message but they know that they know that this message needs to be solid that they need to be open and honest about how they feel about what they want i think they know that they can't just half-ass it they know that they need to be all in or all out and i think i, I think that there was fear on this person's end i really feel like some of them did sabotage it some of them did choose to go back to old patterns where it's like you might have been really truly happy with this person and then they fell back into old patterns and stayed or went back with a karmic ex that was you know toxic codependent i think they're realizing what a mistake that was and like i said i just you know i've i i know i've said this before in readings but i just like to reiterate for people that are new I am not saying that you should be with this person. I am just reading the energy. You know, I'm just letting you know what's going on. You guys are all adults, so it's up to you if you want to go for this or if you want to manifest something new, someone who, you know, never left you to begin with, someone that just knows right off the bat that you're the one for them. You know, that's personally what I would want, but like I said, it's up to you. I'm, you know, I'm unbiased here. You know what I mean? I am just, I'm just reading the energy and letting you guys know what the updates are and what's currently going on. Um, you know, the choices are yours. It's your life. It's your path. You get to decide if you want to go back to this or if you want to manifest someone new. 
I do get that your spirit guides want you to have love here though. Like it is time for you to have love. I feel like you've already done the healing work. You've waited long enough. You've been patient long enough. You've had faith for, for years and years. Like it's, it's time for you. It's your time. It's time for you to have the love that you've been seeking. So I do get some kind of message coming in here this year in the near future. I'd say within the next like, probably the next month, within the next month, I would say. It just feels like a surprise too. I really feel like, let me see what these cards here. I just feel like they, they know, they know they have to offer this to you. They know that they have to be all in. And I really do feel like someone, like some of them are planning on giving, giving you a surprise, like giving you flowers or um, like showing up at your door, just some kind of, some kind of surprise here is what I'm getting. There's some kind of adventure too, like a, I see, I see travel for some of you guys. Some of you guys are gonna be traveling together. What else can we say about this? Nostalgia, longing, end of a pattern. Yeah, I think that you're ending a pattern either way. I think, I think that your life has almost, for some of you, this isn't for all of you, but for a lot of you, like you've been kind of stagnant over someone. And I think your guides are tired of seeing you in that energy, that nostalgia, that longing. So they're setting you free from that. And this could be this person coming back. So you have a new start. You don't have to be in this sad, nostalgic energy where you're just stagnant anymore. Or this could be just, you know, someone new coming in. It could just be you just clearing the cycle up on your own. But I see that there's some kind of breakthrough finally that's happening in this situation. And you're going to be reclaiming your free-spirited side, your fun side, you know, beauty, mystery, enchantment, you know, this, um, this zest for life. It's like kind of like you lost yourself and you just became stagnant and kind of sad for a while and kind of just numb, um, like just kind of going through the motions. And I feel like your spirit guides are working hard to get you out of that energy, to get you into this, this breakthrough, this, this freedom. You know, they want you to travel. They want you to have love now. They want you to have fun. It's like you've done the healing work. Like you don't have to keep, I mean, I mean, we're always healing. Don't get me wrong. But it's like you don't have to keep focusing on healing all the time. It's like, like, yes, you always want to be doing he like healing. But at the same time, like, don't, don't become stagnant and forget to, to live your life because you're so focused on perfectionism. You know what I mean? Because you're so focused on just having everything in neat little boxes and having everything be perfect. It's like life is messy. Life doesn't work like that. And at a certain point, like your guides love to see you healing, but they also want to see you having fun and going on adventures and traveling and pursuing your hobbies and, you know, having the life that you deserve that you've been wanting to manifest for so long. And I think sometimes people get caught up in, um, you know, it just being out of reach, just like a little bit out of reach. It's like, it's so close, but so far away. It's like people get caught up with, um, like, oh, I have to heal and I have to do this and I have to do that. And then after that, I can, I, after that, maybe eventually I'll have love, but it's like, start getting the mindset of you can have this today. You can have this now you can have the adventure, the love, the honeymoon, the vacation, you know, all of it you know, the world is your oyster, getting that energy of feeling like you have it now, of, of knowing that you can have it now, you know, just kind of um, take control of your life here. You know what I mean? Reclaim this free spirited side of yourself, beauty, mystery, enchantment, this, um, this, this open, this just like flow, like things in your life just need to flow again. And I think part of it starts with you with, with, um, you know, bringing that mystery and that beauty and that, um, maybe like the aesthetic. Some of you might be into photography or, or fashion, modeling, uh, music, art, just bringing those things back into your life, bringing the creativity and the free spiritedness and the adventure and just the enchantment back into your life again, reclaiming that free spirited side of yourself and getting yourself out of stagnant energy. Like just don't put your life on hold anymore. It's time for this breakthrough. Um, anyway, I hope this helps. And if you guys want private readings, uh, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. I do um, in-depth private readings. I can go into your ex. I can go into, you know, whatever you want to know about. I can give you an in-depth reading. Um, just contact me. Any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar really adds up quickly. And my donation links are also below in the description box right below this video. Um, and please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you guys for watching.